What's going on, guys? Welcome to February. February's best items to merch for this month of February uh, guide, I guess you could call that, or whatever you want. I guess this is also a low level or low low money, low cash income, low income merching guide here for 2013, uh, February of 2013. I had 1.5 million, but I actually, this is my second time recording this video, so I think I got something really close to it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Freaking five coins short, but okay. Keep in mind, this is a guide with 1.5 million. You guys told me some different prices to use. Some said five million, five million, and 2.5 million were the two most common uh, amounts. But I'm going to actually show you with 1.5 million because you can do it really with any amount, even 500k. You can do stuff with it, and I'm going to show you what to do with that. Again, if you don't know how to merch, you don't know what merching is, or you don't understand the concept, and no one's explained it properly to you, check over here. There's a little annotation that probably just came up over here. Click on that. I really, like, completely thoroughly explained it, super thoroughly, as thoroughly as I possibly could. If you don't get it after watching that video, you're just retarded. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I'm just... But you really... It's pretty much... I would bet a lot of money that you, you will understand it if you really watch that video and think about it. It's not hard to grasp. So, we're going to go to the Grand Exchange. And uh, if you remember last month's, uh, which also doesn't have, have, which also has an annotation over here, last month's uh, best item to merch was uh, Sarah Doman Full Helms, uh, and I still do those a bit. They're good. Any really trimmed helm, or even she any sh trimmed armor pieces, really, um, helmets or shields, I like to stick to personally, in my opinion. Right now, they're at one point two eight eight. So what I would buy these for. As an example, to show you the money, since I have 1.5 million, I can buy these, and and this is the most expensive of the trimmed helms. So you can buy gold trimmed helms, Zami, Guthix, uh, Sarah, all the, you could buy any of those. Basically, with 1.5 million, you can you can get into the high or trimmed armor market or whatever you want to call it. But this is probably not where I would put my money if I had a little bit of money like this low. If I have five million or more, I'd probably start doing this because you can buy a little bit and it, it pays off that way better, in my opinion. Uh, but this is also something, this is, if you want something for active merching, I would do different types of runes or logs, like I said in this main video, the merching video over here. Uh, I would try those if you want. Active merching is kind of where I sit there at the computer and wait for the sale to buy and then wait for them to sell immediately. If you want something kind of inactive, like on the side merching, which is where you're going to make more money, hint, hint, when you have low money especially, even when you have high money, that's where you're going to make more money, is doing something like this with trimmed armor or basic runes and I will explain that after this but right now if it's at 1.288 I would do a competitive price at 1. Uh, to probably 55 five. that's probably where I where I'd buy at um, so keep that in mind one two five five zero 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 I'm just writing the, actually I don't even need to write it down forget it and I would I'd, I would only be able to buy one right now and I'd have some money left over I'd spend that on something else uh, but I would buy one of these and then I would turn it and sell it once I did buy it because these are pretty steady prices for these so I can pretty much just tell you right now what I would sell it for 1.3 um, 1 5 probably. And so that equals one three one five is uh let's see zero that's about fifty I think it's fifty K. Sixty K. I think it's sixty K profit uh for one flip. So you make sixty K. Now this could be done literally I've had it take as little as thirty seconds to buy one and resell one, and I've had it take as long as a few hours to do it. And this is something you're gonna spend your money on, dump it in and walk away from it. Just leave it, let it be. And that's that's how you would do this. Again, you could buy Zami Helms, Zamorak, Full Helms, or if you were to do Shields, which I'd probably start with Shields because the Helms are a little bit more expensive. For Sarah, anyway. Even this is a little bit expensive, but for instance, if you wanted to buy Sarah Shields, I'm just going to show you this and then we'll go over to the runes, so hold on a second. Uh, they're only 771k, so what I'd do is I would buy one, and you can go to this merchant video again to see what you buy and sell for if you really want to follow that. For, but for something like this, I would just trial and error, experiment, and mess around and see. Uh, you want something to be close, but not too close, and far, but not too far, kind of. So for this, I'd probably actually buy it for 750 k per piece. So that's a 20 k undercut from market price. So most people are like, you know, 20 k if I could sell it instantly, that's fine. Also, 750 k is a nice round number. 
And that works way better because if you think about it, when someone's putting this into sell, what are they going to say? All right, I'll take 750k. Then I could say I'm going to take 771,000. You know what I'm saying? They're going to they're going to just say, yeah, whatever, 750. That's fine. And they're going to sell it and get it sold instantly, and they'll be done with it. That's why. So then I would probably turn this over for at least 800k, if not 825k. And on a good day, it might sell. I might have to drop it. But again, that's a 75k profit right there. 50 to 75k on shields, Sarah Shields. So keep that in mind. Again, you could probably buy. Uh, almost two of these. Or actually, you probably could buy two, depending on how... So so that's basically 50k. So that's 100, 100k profit if you could buy two of those with 1.5 million or how much you have. And now again, we'll go back to the runes. Now, fire, air, earth, and water are the four basic runes, and most people say there's no point in merging them. I disagree. Uh, air, for example, I'm going to show you. These are extremely safe. And extremely, I would just dump every single bit of my money if I had only 1.5 million or really under 2.5 million, 2.5 or less, I would pretty much dump all my money into runes. That's it. Just dump them into runes. And what I would do, the basic runes, not laws and natures and deaths and all that stuff, just air, earth, fire, and water. Dump them into that. Actually, I wish I didn't sell mine because I, I just had uh, 500k of these and I sold them for 7gp. If I had held on to them for another day, I could have made another 500k. But that's okay. Uh, what I would do here is they're at 8 is the market price, so pretty much always it's going to be 1 GP lower, but if you really want to test it, I would, you know, that's fine, test it just to make sure if you're going to, because you're going to be dumping in all your money, so I guess I would probably test it. Uh, oh, wow. I bought one for 11. Well, that wasn't very good. That's odd. Somebody's selling high on that. Um, let's, buy, let's buy them for 8 and just see if they go. Just to test it that way. Wow, are they really up high? See, this is this is this is why you test it. Actually, <laughs> um, you know what? Let's let's try it with waters or something. Just to, uh, just so I can give you a solid example here. I'm just buy for a little bit more here. And well, this is if you, again, if you don't understand what I'm doing right now, check the merchanting guide video over here. It'll show you what exactly I'm doing, and you'll understand why I'm doing this here. Um, so we bought them for nine. Which means we're going to see what we are going to sell them for now here. Probably eight. Yes, eight. So waters are safe. They're steady. And you pretty much cannot lose money on this unless you literally let them sit for, you know, weeks. Uh, but if you stay on top of it, pretty much you're going to at least break even, at the very least. It's And it's pretty safe. So right here what I buy is, uh, I don't know how many I can buy here. Uh, oh, two, I meant to put 250. Now, you're going to be able to buy a lot of these for the money that you have, so keep that in mind. That's a good thing, uh, but you're only going to be able to buy, uh, I think, 25,000 runes per every four hours or something like that, so this is something that you'd sit, let it go, go do your grinding, go cut some logs or something and leveling and that kind of thing. Maybe do some quests. If you have this little money, you probably still got quests you didn't do yet. Follow through with those. Oh, I can't even buy this here. Uh, and then let this sit and run its course. And and again, now I'm, I would match this till I pretty much used up every single penny that I had here. So even go down to because yeah, see, okay, fourteen eighty. So that's pretty pretty close right there. One hundred eighty five thousand water runes. Buy them for eight GP. Confirm the offer. And I just let them sit. And right now, what the profit I would make off this is one hundred eighty five k every time I flipped all these. So again, you're only going to be able to buy 25000 per hour or per four hours or something like that, three hours, four hours, and you'll come back and you'll see you bought 25000 It'll be exactly that. Or 50000 depending on how, if you let it go overnight, you might have a bunch. And then you just withdraw them out of there and you put them up for sale right then for one GP higher. Or if it goes up and you're lucky, sell them for two GP higher. If it's dropped, don't worry if it's the market price is now eight or seven. It's okay. Chances are it will go back up. So just hold on to them. Again, runes are pretty, pretty safe. These basic runes are pretty safe. They really won't go, won't fluctuate more than 1 to 2 GP ever. So you're, you're safe with these. Buy them all up, and then when you get them, just flip them and sell them. That's 185K. If you sell them for 1 GP higher, if you sell them for 2 GP higher, that doubles. And you probably will never sell them for 3 GP higher, but unless you sell them to a person, then you just walk around saying selling waters, but someone probably won't do that. Uh, again, so keep those, and you make basically however many you can buy times... 
one or times two. That's how much money you're going to make every time you buy all of them. So that's a very, very safe bet. you got 19 k left. That's fine. Spend all your money on it. And again, make sure you test again and that kind of thing. Um, but that's what I would do, and that's what I would definitely stick with the runes, air, fire, earth, and water if I have low money. So that's the guide. Check out, if you have a little bit more money, uh, my other merchanting guide for January's item of the month to merch. And then again, the merchanting guide is over here if you need help with that. Like this, thumbs it up, favorite, and, and let me know if this helped or not. And if you want a different guide for higher or less money, uh, less money, just do it with runes, just buy less runes. And this is where you're going to get the most return for anything less. I just use 1.5 million because most people have that. So again, be sure to, if you if you really liked it and helped you, please favorite it. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if, if I do get enough views, I'm going to start getting enough views on these. I might be doing weekly giveaways of maybe we'll just give away like a million a week or something because I know a lot of people have been asking for that. So make sure you thumbs it up if you, that's a cool idea that you think I should do as well as favorite it and all that stuff and let me know in the comments if it helps you out. All right, guys. I will see you soon enough. Thanks for watching.